In this video, we are going to execute an end-to-end -end machine learning project using SAS Enterprise Miner, also known as SAS eMiner software. We will be using three machine learning algorithms, decision trees, gradient boosting and regression. The Excel file that we will be using is a tennis data set having 1000 records. You can download it from the link given in the description box below. Before we actually go to SAS Enterprise Miner, it is very important for us to first understand the data set. So the dataset Excel sheet we will first open and see what are the variables that we have taken for the study. If you see the data dictionary tab over here, it basically talks about all the variables which are being used in the dataset. The variable ID refers to player ID, age is age of player in years, international experience is experience of player in international events, diet pattern is 1 for veg and 0 for non-veg, so it's a categorical variable. Gender is again a categorical variable, 1 corresponds to male and 0 corresponds to female. Coach type is again a categorical variable having 3 categories, full time, part time and no coach. Surface specialist type is again divided into grass coat or clay coat surface specialization. Grip type is basically the type of grip used in handling a tennis racket. So there are 4 categories given over here, continental, eastern, western and semi-western. ACES before training is ACES code before attending the training program of Swift Academy. ACES after training is ACES code after attending the training program. Final ACES and qualifies. Now there was a qualifying event in which we actually registered the final ACES code by various players. And the final variable is selection for Wimbledon. Now this is the target variable. This data set containing 1000 records, that means 1000 players records, basically tells how many of these players got selected for Wimbledon and how many could not. Now what we will do is we will train our machine learning algorithm on this data set of 1000 players. We will prepare a model and then this model we are going to test against a new record of 500 or say 1000 new players and check whether these new 500 players will be selected in Wimbledon or not. So basically what we are trying to do is we are performing predictive analysis using SAS Enterprise Miner. Let us now download the SAS Enterprise Miner software. So for that you will have to first go to welcome.oda.sas.com slash home, create a profile for yourself, go to the applications tab and the third icon in that is SAS Enterprise Miner. Once you left click on SAS Enterprise Miner, a main.jnlp file will automatically get downloaded. Now before you actually run that file, you need to first check whether you have got the required software update for Java or not. So for that, you have first have to click on configuration steps required over here. Once you are on this page, just scroll down a little bit below. There's a line, the current version of Java is available here. So just click on here. Then in this page, go to JRE for consumers. Basically, you have to download a JRE file, which will give you the required Java update. Now click on download Java. And in this new page, again, you will have to click on download Java. So a JRE file will automatically get downloaded. Click on that, run that file, install the Java update and then you are good to go with downloading and running the main.jnlp file. So now again go to SAS On Demand for Academics, click on main.jnlp file and it will start running. Click on run. Now this is how the first page of SAS Enterprise Miner looks like. The first thing that you have to do is create a new project. So just go to new project and click. Then click on next. Then give a project name for yourself. In this case, you can give tennis master data set. Then click next. Again, click next in the third step. And finally, click on finish. So your first enterprise e minor project is created. Now to go ahead, you first need to go to file, click on new and click on diagram. Give a diagram name for yourself. So you can give tennis data set. You can see on the right hand side, a diagram workspace is created. So the first step is to import the Excel file into SAS Enterprise Miner. So for that, you have to first go to the sample tab. You can see a sample tab over here. Then there are various nodes above the sample tab. So the third node from left is basically a file import node. So just click on file import node, drag and drop it to the workspace. Left click on file import. On the left hand side, you can see a properties panel. There's an import file section. So just click on these three dots, which you can see over here. Now you have to get the file imported. So click on browse. 
check where you have actually kept the file so i have kept the tennis data set in this particular folder i'll click double click on that and i'll click okay so the excel file now starts getting imported now the first step is to understand the difference between nominal and categorical variables so just right click over here and go to edit variables now you can see all these variables which we discussed they are present over here the id variable will be a nominal variable because id as such does not have any significance grip type now grip type is again a nominal variable because we were basically talking about categories or categorical variable gender is incorrectly specified here as an interval variable because computer actually took values of 0 and 1 as continuous values so we'll have to change it from interval to nominal similarly selection from wimbledon again we have to change it to nominal because there are only two categories 0 and 1 and selection for wimbledon is also our target variable so we will change input to target surface specialist type is nominal variable international experience is again interval variable that is a continuous variable because we have various numeric values aces before training is an interval variable age is an interval variable aces after training is an interval variable now diet pattern here is again incorrectly written as interval because we have given one for wedge and zero for non wedge so basically we'll change it to nominal because it's a categorical variable final aces in qualifies as an interval variable and coach type is a nominal variable because we have three types of coaches full time part time and no coach so in the data set we can see there are five interval variables one two three four and five then you click on ok now we are good to go with exploratory data analysis for that we need to first go to explore tab and get stat explore node into the workspace so if you see the third node from the right is the stat explore node so just drag and drop stat explore node over here now for performing eda that is exploratory data analysis let us first check what are the assumptions given in the data set so if you go to the excel sheet the first assumption is interval variables to be distributed into five bins while calculating chi-square statistics so here in the sas enterprise minor once you click on stat explore on the left hand side property panel just go down a little bit to the chi-square statistics now here in interval variables you'll have to change it from no to yes because we have to do the binning of interval variables and the number of bins are correctly written as five by default now we have to connect both the nodes how do we connect that if you go to the file import node on the right hand side there's a small pencil just left click on that drag and drop to the stat explore node and that is how the both the nodes are connected now right click on stat explore and click on run then click on yes if you see here file import node is now getting executed the green tick shows that it has been executed and now stat explore node is being executed now click on results over here in the result video you can see three different windows the first window is chi square plot which actually tells you which variable is the best predictor for the target variable so in this case the left hand side final aces and qualifiers is the variable which is the best predictor for target variable Below is a variable worth plot. Final aces and qualifiers is again here the most important variable. And the third window is output. So how will we check this output window? We will have to maximize it. So just maximize the output window. Here in the variable summary, you can see there are five interval variables in the data set as we had correctly put in the file import node section. If you go down a little bit, there are two summary statistics given. Class variable summary statistics and interval variable summary statistics. This gives the basic descriptive statistics about the variables in study. Say for example, you have coach type, type pattern, gender. You can actually check the mode of the observation, if there are any missing values or not. And there are various other statistics that you get to see here. If you scroll down a little bit more, interval variable summary statistics are there. So here again, it gives a lot of information about these variables. Say for example, now in age variable, you can see what is the maximum age in the data set, what is the median age of all the players, what is the minimum age? If you see the international experience, you can see what is the average uh, international experience. So you have the mean value here. You have standard deviation value over here. And you can also see what is the maximum international experience, 15 years in this case. So this basically output window tells a lot about the variables. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will get chi-square statistics. So as we had seen in the variable worth plot and the chi-square plot, final aces and qualifiers is the best predictor of the target variable. The next step is to do the data partitioning. So if you see the assumptions again, the ratio of training to validation data set is given as 70 is to 30. 